Hi, this is Cecilia. In today's tutorial, it's going to be a explosion box with the gorgeous, gorgeous Alice's Tea Party paper collection. At this point, I am using my leftovers because I want to show you how many th beautiful things you can make with a bundle. The first thing that I made was a threefold mini album. Well, not that mini. And then I made a tag album, a square tag, it was a tag a square album. And then to put, to storage that album, I made a lamp. So now I'm going to make for you this uh, explosion box, perfect for any gift that you need uh, to make, okay? Uh, we are going to need a cream cardstock, and this one that I am using is the last sheet that is in the very back of the patterns and solids uh, paper pad okay that's really handy to have that for tiny projects well this is not that tiny but a small projects like this i also prepare a uh, with the large tag atc tag and flower metal dies i cut this uh, lips uh, Die and because it's a little thing and so delicate this uh, part I cut it twice to make one so I stick them together and then I emboss it with this Stampendio Sari white embossing enamel just to be prepared and I am going to use also uh, uh, some flowers these are handmade and I just made them a long time ago and as well as this for another project this is fabric and these are also fabric these tiny ones I made it with the graphic 45 die as well and these are made with vellum and I ink the vellum with a soft uh, gray color I already prepared this is not a seam binding but it's a kind of muslin that I just uh, thread it and then just paint it with uh, some sprays. And okay, let's uh, start. I'm going to need, we will need a piece of cardstock that measures seven and a half by seven and a half. And I score at half, two and a half and a five. You need to turn the paper and again score at two and a half and five and remove this is so okay now I am going to cover the back first and for that I'll be using this is from the uh, 8 by 8 paper now pack. I cut two of these pieces one for this side and the other for the opposite side and a little uh, piece of cardstock that measure two and three quarters and I score it at three eighths of an inch in the long side by two and a quarter because now this is going to be attached here One of the flaps for this one we are going to need the cream cardstock that measure this piece measure total a uh, five and three quarters by two and a quarter in the five and three quarters 
you are going to score at one and five eighths, one and seven eighths, two and one eighths, and two and three eighths, and here you will score at four and seven eighths and five. All right, those are.
with this piece we need a piece of cardstock that measure well this is a long but of course I'm going to remove a little bit but this piece measure at seven and a half by two and okay. a quarter first we are going to uh, secure this paper and we need to make the scoring lines the first one it's at from this edge one and five eighths of an inch one and seven eighths two and one eighth and two and three eighths of an inch now here we are going to add the glue only in the edge okay don't apply the glue all over here and it's important to stick this piece but not in the scoring line okay
box lid and we need a piece of a uh, cream cardstock that measure four and nine sixteenths by four and nine sixteenths i am adding one sixteenth of an inch to fit uh, perfectly uh, on the bottom piece and we are going to make a score line at one turn it one one every time you need to turn okay it's the easiest way to do it now we need to cut here straight hmm, if i can see it which is not easy let me find it okay maybe in this way I am just cutting here straight and a little bit in angle in one side and the opposite side as well. papers combined okay now I want to add a piece of this uh, or around here and make a bow so I think I'm just going to cut a little bit And remove all these threads first and I have remember that I showed you these flowers I think they are too big I have this left from another project but I made these tiny ones uh, with the graphic 45 dies of course uh, I just the fussy cut these pieces from the 8 by 8 a piece of uh, paper that I have left the teapot I fussy cut flowers teacups and I would like to put it uh, like a tiny seam here but we need first to use pieces of uh, acetate to hold it here and then just place it like that I think it could work. I have more flowers. Here it is the rabbit. Here, here. And it should be nice to use those tiny, beautiful pieces of paper. So I think the first thing I'm going to do it's stick this on pieces 
of acetate as well as this my one glossy accents so and first i'm going okay. to take that i already uh, stick this uh, images and i just fussy cut all around and left this tail and i was making some tests how to put it so we will be uh, creasing according with this but first i have here my tea cups two of them this guy and here is the rabbit and here is the teapot and here is my Alice tea party sign okay but first i want to add to this something hanging here but because i don't have any chipboards and anything else Probably from the leftovers, we can cut something with a circular punch and make our own. Uh, let me find something, our uh, own chipboard piece. Okay, I just made a chipboard tag using this tag punch, and I just cut with the leftover uh, cardstock seven times and then with just a tiny piece of here okay okay something like that now we can
my pieces of card uh, stock and this measure eight by eight and i made one scoring line at one and a half and at three then at five and six and a half you turn and then you will repeat it one and a half three five and six going to be removable so now we need to make the lid for the lid my piece of paper measure six and one eight by six and one eight and I made a scoring line at one and two then turn it one and two just turn the paper in this way one and two one and two okay so in the same way i am going to make my lid and when this is ready i'll come back with you okay i already have my box but i want to decorate it and let me tell you here i also add my paper in the bottom because i add two magnets it's going to be easier to hold it inside you see and easy to remove so let's decorate a little bit here of course i need to stick the magnets on the bottom and i already have prepared my piece of paper but first just let's to give away some presents now these magnets are going to be on the perfect place something like this i am not sure <laughs> but let me see yes and the other one okay we can make a pencil mark to see where to add the glue
Okay, now I am going to make a bookmark using one of the regular ivory tag. And I have my coordinating die, regular tag and gears metal die. So I already made a marks because I want to make this uh, as a window. I just uh, took some measurements at three quarters and three quarters on each side and the three quarters from the top it's this is my edge okay so I will open here that's the first thing that and I want to using do. my leftover papers I just got two of those to cover the front and back so I cut and these two papers I really love this and it's a chain uh, to sacrifice a piece of this but I just try it to uh, keep, uh, keep a little bit of uh, Alice here so first I will center it the best that I can and now I will secure it with a little bit of the washi tape just trying to put this on the we need two pieces of uh, acetate this is upcycle and this piece uh, measure three and a quarter by four and a quarter just to fit here inside but I am thinking that I want to emboss these two acetates you can use any embossing folder that you have okay I really like to do that and I'm going to do it in these two okay I use this uh, embossing folder the name is musical flourish and it's from Cricut cuttlebook cuttlebook and I did it both at the same time it's the same one that I use in my lamp 